Hello everyone. Today I would like to share what I want to do with the uh, old honey frame that I would like to, to renew. So this is the honey frame that I'd like to give to bees to make sure that they generate or they extract new fresh honey and i wanted to show you this frame because uh, this is an old frame that was beaten by moth larva and what i did first i put it in in the freezer to make sure that uh, uh, i kill uh, the larva and uh, now i want to show it to you you can see it right here See this, this area right at the center is where was lots of larva. And the thing is, it's because this uh, frame was, uh, uh, it had some pollen in it. Uh, moth larva attacked it. They usually don't attack honey frame. They don't eat honey, but they like pollen. As you can see some of them make live in here and here. So it's important to put it in the freezer to kill it. So that was my first step. I put it in the freezer. I killed it. See on the other side as well. And now what I want to do is I'd like to give it to the bees. But before you do it, you want to set it up. And this is my Italian swarm that came uh, some time ago and I checked it uh, yesterday and what I found is that in this top box that I supplied they only started to work only on four frames so the six frames here is totally empty it's just foundation I want them to have enough honey in the winter I also want them to grow well right now is the middle of July and here in uh, Oregon where I live we have a uh, dirt season so that basically nothing is uh, blooming now except maybe uh, wild carrots and some uh, false dandelions which don't give much of uh, nectar uh, wild carrots are good but dandelions are not so good anyway it's a perfect time to give the bees food like if you have old honey frames you can feed it to the bees because then the colony can grow and be stronger going in the winter as well as they will have all the supplies and potentially if you have lots of these old honey frames you can even recycle it and renew the honey because bees well they when they will be transporting the honey they will uh, enrich it with enzymes so it will be like a new fresh honey so in this case i have this box in this box I have six frames that just foundation and in this one I already supplied them uh, if, I think three frames for cleanup like in, in, in this box this box and this box are separate by uh, a little board that allows bees to go from the sides up to this box and use that honey it's important to put it because uh, to, to let them go from the side versus from the middle because mm -hmm. if they can access from the middle they will push queen going up and the queen will lay eggs we don't want that to happen all what we want them to do is just to clean the frames and uh, take that honey down below in their boxes and form their nest so what I'd like to do is I'd like to open this and put this frame in there. But before I do it, I also have to uncap it. So I have this uncapping tool, right? And they have the frame. And I would like to first uncap it and then I'll put it in the box. And I use this uncapping fork. So uncap it as much as you can spray it with warm water and the, the the frame as i said has to be warm and then we'll put it in the box so 
to uncap these areas, especially where I have this pollen in the middle, because I want these to take the honey. If if it's capped, they won't take it. Only when it's uncapped. And what will happen is that when bees will start bringing honey down below, it will simulate nectar flow. And the queen will start laying eggs in large quantities. And that's what we, we want. We want to increase the population of the bees going in the winter. Then they will have more chances to survive. So un uncap one side like this. Pretty much okay. For now. Because whatever I didn't uncap and the bees still will keep capped, I can refine later. And then I go to another side. I think I can remove this uh, dead moth larva. Totally dead. And I see some of the larva came out because it was too cold for her and she died. But yes, this would be a perfect frame to for the bees to go in the winter because good honey and pollen in the honey uh, will be good food for them. But because this uh, wax moth ruined it, I have to give it to bees to fix it. So they will be fixing it. See, this is all pollen covered with honey. That's what moth larva is after okay so you uncap it like that i think that should be sufficient going here as well now we're gonna open the hive see i cut most of it basically And the bees, they probably will uncap the rest, but whatever is not uncapped, I can come back later, pull out the frame and uncap it. But this is how it looks now when it's uncapped. Nice honey frame with pollen. This is good honey, pollen. Everything is looking nice. Now we're gonna open. the high it's important to use protection I'm not just using for these bees I think they're calm but if they start to get agitated I can use water they don't like water if I spray them with water they 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 don't like it much they think it's rain but regardless it's good to use uh, protection I just don't have any allergies, but I get stung a lot. We open this carefully. Alright, so some bees are here. Then we open, spray these bees a little bit. Then we open this one. We can check the frames that I put here yesterday. For example, we can check this one. See, they cleaned it. That was full of honey. They get agitated, yeah. It was full of honey, now they cleaned most of it. Look at that. It's a nice fixed frame, just a little bit of holes. So we carefully pull it back. it was and we take this frame spray it with water 
it will ease uh, the work because it will be easier for them to transport it. They need water. And then we put it back in the middle. And then we take this stuff here. And we can just dump it in there. They will clean it. Remember, there is a little board. It's actually what I'm using is a mat for the plates, for dinner, dinner mat made of bamboo, which is very convenient. It's wood, but it's kind of a you can extract propolis from it. So this goes inside. Then we can spray it more with water. Because they need water over there. Clean the fork. Cover the bees. I'm gonna check another one. See, this one is also oh, almost empty. Yeah, one I, I got stunned a little bit, so it's okay. How about this one? Yeah, and this one is almost empty, so they were pretty good. Okay, I'll let them continue. Put it back. Cover. Inner cover. it really well spray them with water very calm bees so I got stun in my finger just just accidentally I don't know somehow the bee jumped or fell on my on my finger and this her back and I got stun but that's not big deal you don't have allergies, we cover it and it's all done. Okay, that's it, that's the process. Set up a box to build foundation, some division board with access from the side and in this box you can put frames that you want to be cleaned and they will be taking it from here down below and they will form the nest. That's a perfect, uh, I think it's a perfect uh, process to do at the end of the summer to make sure that you have nice formed colonies going, going in the winter. Also, if you have lots of uh, honey that uh, you want to recycle, that's I think the way to do it because they will renew the honey and then you can even harvest the honey from this box. It will be frames with uh, refreshed, new, enriched, and uh, these enzymes, honey. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.